Ooh, it's about 30 degrees or more Celsius with relative humidity outside, so I am sweating. But here I am, blankets in the window so I can cool off a little bit. Show you guys actually a little rare tutorial that I usually will crank out very often. He never said. But this is going to show you how to, in Retropilot, using DOSBox. Not LR DOSBox, using just DOSBox. I believe that's under additional packages. Oh. Even my, even my mouth just needs constant bathing in this heat. <laughs> so, first thing you got to do when you boot into um, emulation station retropod, uh Oh, I got this on analog. You're going to go to quit, and you're just going to quit emulation station. Hit OK. All right. So, don't mind that gibberish up there. I got a little something wrong with my install. But first thing you want to do is you want to go to CD space tilde forward slash dot DOS box. Hit Enter. Now you're going to want to enter in this sudo nano dosbox dash capitals svn dot conf. And this actually brings us to this. This is the uh, full on text editor. I'm going to show you what you got to go through to make sure that you are set up for strictly Tiny 1000. Now, this is really a big benefit for somebody who has a uh, Raspberry Pi 1 or 0, any of the single core machines. I find they tend to have a problem with anything like EGA, VGA, AdLib, or higher, MIDI, etc. But Tandy, perfect. Now, I'm going to show some video play later. If a frame, if there's any like frame freezing or anything like that, that's the Pi, and it's probably just doing something in the background because I have it set to do like a couple of different things. I'm not going to go into detail for. But <coughs> first thing here, don't have to worry about this. Full screen false, full double false, original resolution, original uh, window resolution, whatever. Leave it to that. Don't bother touching that. Now, the DOS box settings down here. Set your machine to Tandy. That's the only thing you have to mess with here. Language, select another language file. You don't need it. Just make sure you change the machine, erase out Tandy, because I think it's supposed to be auto. And I can do anything, including like an S3, Savage, video card, etc., etc. Uh, render frame skip. Don't bother with this. You don't need it. You're not going to be that hard up for resources. You can if you want to, but I don't really recommend it. CPU stuff here again. Don't touch it. Core type dynamic, all this stuff. Mixer, no sound, false. Uh, all that stuff here is fine. MIDI, all right, MIDI here, MPU 401, set it to none. You don't want MIDI because that's just going to be more resources. Tandy's didn't really use it. I don't know anybody who had one hooked to Roland unless they were like in a recording studio. Sound Blaster, same thing, none. Now, Gravis. It's always, I believe it's always set to false. If not, make sure it's set to false. Speaker, PC, true, PC speaker. So right here, PC speaker goes to true. Tandy, switch it on because the Tandy utilizes PC speaker in concert with its own three voice sound chip. Three voice plus noise, I think it was. Uh, Disney, false, because that is literally for uh, Disney and Kovacs. That's the Tandy DAC slash ADC worked a little different because it had a sort of DMA. I believe it hijacked like the serial bus or controller or something. Some games can't do everything or something at once. I don't know. Joystick down here as well because what I have is auto false. And uh, down here I got a bunch of stuff set. Keep going. Uh, I have nothing else changed here. Now the auto exec you can put down here for like anything else you want to start up now. I don't have that line of code with me I should have saved, but I got to a line of uh, uh, text, I should say code, I guess. Uh, I'm not really coding here, but uh, it's supposed to be for, I can't remember the exact capitalization on it for the home directory for the ROMs, but that would put me to that, so I got to fix that at some point. But uh, once you're done everything, control and X. Now, uh, it'll say, do you want to save buffer? Hit Y and enter. Now, I didn't change anything, so it doesn't change anything for me. Now, after you're done with that, you can jump right back into um, Emulation Station. Just boot right in. So, we're going to need to go uh, Gamepad and Navigate. We have here the Logitech RumblePad 2, courtesy of a friend of mine. Uh, friends give me a lot of old tech, and I do appreciate it because it actually works a lot. Like, this old laptop's probably like 12, 13 years old. 10732 bit. An old game bridge that I've had for ages. But it works, and just an old USB sound device from uh, off of um, eBay. I think I paid five bucks for it, but one of the decent ones. It looks kind of like a spaceship. All right, so now we're going into DOSBox. 
and it switches to 320 by 200. So, Tatum 1000 XD class machine, 320 by 200, 640 by 200, also available, 16 color. You could do CGA, you could do Hercules as well. It did have Hercules emulation. It was a keystroke on boot. I forget what it was, and I actually did it before for playing some games and Hercules mode. And uh, three voice PSG plus noise plus PC speaker, and later on. The upgrade of the 640 by 200 made it Tandy Video 2, as they called it, and I believe that was the name. And the DAC slash ADC they added on to it, which was a uh, Tandy sound system at that point, because it's stacked on top of what else you had. Because it, it was actually capable of doing PCM 8-bit mono, 44.1 kilohertz, 44 kilohertz, whatever, audio. So, yeah, these are the games I have here. I'm going to run through them really quick. Some of these aren't uh, Tandy. They're actually like... Uh, Beetlejuice, I'm going to play now in a minute. I'm going to run through them really quick. Beetlejuice is uh, CGA PC speaker only. So C D A B J U I C E. B J, I believe, is the extension. I didn't change that. So it's visually based on the uh, Saturday morning cartoon. Four color. They made this really basic. Basically, any computer at the time it could play on in DOS. Didn't even need Windows. So, we're just going to start. I can use my gamepad because I've already customized it. Yeah, there's my shot. I'm just going to show real quick. It actually controls really nicely. Get the power before she goes over. And she sucks up. This is almost a little bit like Luigi's Guess. And little dimples that go around, they're sandworms. But this is based off the Nelvana um, cartoon. Ah! Power up. I always try to get closer so she can do it because as soon as she vacuums up, this is the level. So, quit out of that. It's on an abandonware site. Abadonia, I think, or something like that. And, um, yeah, it's um, it's actually really decent. Uh, you can, like, if you can pass four colors in a PC speaker, it's actually quite a bit of fun for, like, a little grid shooter single, single uh, button. So, we're going to hop out of that and see what else we got. So, Arkanoid. Arkanoid is one of these Tato or Taito ports, so... Uh, many should be familiar with it. Either from the arcade or whatever. These are supposed to be arcade ports. Tandy, we're going to use the mouse. Speaking of. Dollar Rand mouse. All I'm using with my Pi. All I need. Um, it's a little bit less red on the screen on the capture. It's a bit brown, but that's my capture device. It looks great on this though, on my uh, television 240p. Cobbs of video, I mean, like, it's nothing fancy. It's not that Mike Chi hat or anything, but man, it's quite a consumer grade Samsung 27 inch. Like, it, this has like uh, com composite, and, composite and component input. Oh, this isn't me. This isn't where I parked. Um, composite input, I could get the hat, I guess, but like, it's a Pi 1, and I, I just have it composite out. It's in a. Um, Sega Genesis casing that I've altered a bit. I actually got the, the LED working now, so we powered on, but it's a green LED. It was that uh, Model 1 High Definition Graphics Genesis, although I still call it the Sega Mega Pi. So you need to get a sticker or two for it. Man, we're going to play through this just for a minute, just to show. Like, I'm just using my mouse. That's great. Ah, I suck as I say that, but. I wish I had this. I'm going to be saying that a lot as I play. It's like, oh, I wish I had this version of the game, blah, blah, blah. Like, I had a Tandy 1000 RL. 768 Cave RAM. Um, it had the DAC, ADC. It had the Tandy Graphics 2. And it had, um, you know, printer, the RGB monitor. I, mouse, nice mechanical keyboard that it had that was a great type of stuff for the previous family owned it because we bought it second hand in 92 or 91 they totally fucking ganglanded the uh, space bar I did what I could to get it back it just had to be a bit firm with it but um, oh it slows it down sweet but uh, yeah so the local Radio Shack was more concentrating on a lot of people played the Turbo Graphics in the era so PC Engine Turbo Graphics games were there wasn't franchise owners locally owned and um they um, they were dropping support for games like this because people are wanting the newer systems and um, computers. 
And they, uh, yeah, but they, oh, I lost it right away. I gotta memorize these things. But they, um, if I knew that the, if I could get games like this back then when I had my Tandy, I would totally have gotten myself, like, stuff like this. Now, this is no Vologic support. This is Tato contracting it out third party. Let me see if I can get a note, but... They don't hurt me, I don't think. I just can't let them down. But that's it. I'm out of that. Yeah, I should just escape right out. Just take a second. But yeah, um, I also have Rastan from uh, the Arkanoid. Uh, there we go. The Arkanoid. Um, Arkanoid. Tato. Tato uh, Arcade thing. But um. That was Arkanoid. Uh, bad dudes doesn't work. It gives me a memory issue for some reason. I gotta see what it is. But Batman, Tilly One. Oh. Now this is the Ocean uh, port, I believe. Yep, there it is Ocean License Data East. Um, oh my god. Hmm. Tanny. Uh, and we're gonna go keyboard. It just does this sometimes. It's just DOS box. And this game especially does it for some stupid reason. This will go away now in a second. There we go. Now, very much UK micro style uh, controls. Oh shit! I wasn't supposed to do that. I gotta go up this way for a reason. Um, I can't get up any other way. I've played through these games a bit. I gotta say, like, I believe I did have this, but it didn't work right on my Tandy for some reason. I I think I just had the CGA port. It didn't have Tandy optimized. Some games around when... Ow. Shit. Some games around when they were dropping uh, support Tandy widely. Some games did have additions with Tandy support that you went out and bought. Um, Wing Commander you ran a converter when you bought Wing Commander and it would convert all the assets to um, uh, Tandy 16 color. Now, people's like, CGA is not the same, uh, uh, EGA is not the same thing. No, it's not. Um, EGA is actually um, 640 by 480 at 16 colors, which is weird because there is a VGA, six, there's a 16 color VGA, but yet there's 16 color EGA. I'm just wondering if, I just wonder if that means you can use any of the 256 for that 16 colors at once. It's weird. Standards back then were weird, but that's what made Tandy so appealing. A lot of these companies um, like Sierra and Activision, Nova Logic, Ocean, uh, um, they could just. Oh, I'm starting to take some damage though. Um, you could just port these games. Oh, I gotta wait for that to. Uh, you could just port these games without much issue, and I think the ST could only do 16 colors. Ah, shit. 16 colors at once, so they would, I guess, use assets from it. I'm dead. Anyway, that's Batman. Let me get out of that. But, yeah, very, very, very keyboard aesthetic controls. Mm, how are we doing for time? Well, we're 15 minutes in. Try not to spend too much time over something. So that's Batman. We'll do Blackout. Blackout is 3D. Oh, BL. Uh, no, we are going to do Tandy 16 color. <coughs> oh, California Dreams game. Pretty sure California Dreams is like um, US Gold, or they were just some company. So use like the cross and use the QWAS, I believe. So it's not a genuine 886 or 888, so that sound was definitely governed by the CPU. Then I have mine to adaptive, so I don't have too much of a bottleneck. Uh, we're just going to do flat fun. Uh, but it is like a uh, 3D Tetris. Here's the fun part when we get to it, when we have to. Because yeah, 
Hey, now. Now, somebody tell me in the comments where it's... I believe it did come out on other... Other platforms, I'm going to say, like um, UK Micros, for instance, I believe there are reports like the STME Amiga. So we, I think, did, uh, can I get a key? No. <sighs> yeah, that's how it goes. Boom. Yeah, I'm going to be here all day. <laughs> we'll quit that. Quit DOS. Then a lot of these games I'm showing you are on Abandonware sites, so just look up Abandonware and have some fun, especially with the directions I gave you. Um, oh, God, let's do that. CDDBLDRGN. CDD1, because I screwed up on things. Uh, Dragon. This is... I don't know who ported this. Probably Ocean. Keyboard. And we're going to do one player. Same kind of controls. So, QA, OP, Fire. Although, once you get used to it, it's actually not that bad. Because I imagine this is about what the... I know famously these controls are used on the... Um, the um, Pie uh, on the pie on the um, Specky and other UK developed games. It's like a weird mishmash, though. The um, NES, uh, well, more than not the NES, the Master System. It's like a weird mishmash of the Master System and the arcade. Like visibly, like they definitely like use the the arcade versions of the characters, and not the. Uh, console versions, although the gameplay is very much yeah. Did I just do a spinning kick? I did not know you can get so friggin' squirrely with this game. Give me that goddamn bit. Teach your boys how to beat some ass. Take that bet and let it be your umbrella. What the fuck are you even on about? Anyway, let's get out of this shit. Okay, so that's Double Dragon. Quite playable. Could be there all day. <laughs> let's see what else is in here. DuckTales, I could give you the opening. Um, so, funny story connected to this game. So, no, I don't. I'm going to use keyboard, even though I have that. I had this game as a kid. Could never play it. The reason being is I think the previous owner that came with the software that we got for the computer that we were sold previous owners owned it PSG sound on this is great um, I'd say they deleted accidentally a couple of assets I know I had sound no none of this oh I almost knocked over my pie but we're gonna go easy money I'm not gonna go very far in this thing just because I got to get the manual for this and so I can enter in something go into the money bin to show that off real fast, like, look at this, it's great. This is a space bar. See what I got. It's great. I mean, my God. Don't forget about the contest. See what the investments are doing on the old ticker tape. You know, let's let's get the phone really fast. Uh, okay, let's open up a browser. Yeah, we're not doing bad for time. Uh, about twenty minutes. I'm 
getting fairly through them. I'm not gonna make y'all wait too long. DuckTales! Ooh! RIP headphone users, I guess. Wow, I think it's so hot my phone's overheated. It would actually be faster for me to use my PC right beside me, I think. Holy crap. I have so much shit in room, too. Because you're supposed to go over here to Control Center. Okay, wait. So, duck tails dust troll. Oh, oh no! I need the manual. Man, seriously. Oh, it's downloading already. Okay. Now, is this... Now... Oh, wait. I might... I might have the wrong one here. No, no. That's an earlier... This is DuckTales Quest for Gold. Classic Reload, I think, has it. Yeah, 2D side scrolling behind view, flip, reverse. Yeah, I, I continue using sight. Here we go. Hopefully somebody still has this up and web search. Oh, wait. Copy. Now let's see. Still up. Oh, I do have it. Oh. I never had the actual physical manual for this game before, so... Alright, let's, uh, let's crawl down through this. That's the Rocketeer. DuckTales, here we go. Uh, I see what they did. They had it blacked out. So that little thing pointed off. That's a Y. So the. Oh, okay. So. Okay. Uh, let's see where we can go. Let's. Can we go there? Job time one day, treasure value. Let's go! Alright, see if I can. Oh, oh! Can I go there? keep going back here oh wait let's look at the manual again bar is enter so space bar oh wow there's a bunch contest okay contest how to play joystick difficulty level mm-hmm Investments. Return to office. Um. <coughs> 
World map. Use the joystick corner. The name of the nearest location will appear above the map. The Lost World. Can I go there? Oh, you gotta select the airplane, apparently. Okay. Shit! <laughs> Alright, so let's use the D-pad on that, and that's inverted. God damn it, get me treasure in me! Uh, but yeah so I wonder if you can just go to another space or do I gotta wait for him to fix that goddamn plane alright let's see now Fuck off, Cloud. And he beat me. Arsehole. Let's try another. Oh, you gotta compete for treasure, eh? You no treasure at home. So you just use the fire button and... I'm there though, am I? You guys are saying change your hunt mountain. Alright, so we're this far. Ah! Eyes are rubber boys! Oh here we do we are. What are you fucking doing, kids? Well, treasure's not. Okay, so we gotta do this part. Cool. Oh, you gotta be on the fucking edge. Okay, this is okay. Hmm, I get the gist of it though. And I get two tries at it. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna shag off out of this for now. But yeah, that's DuckTales. I'm probably gonna give this a playthrough.
I had this game as a kid, never got to play it. It's like so close, so far away, that blue floppy with that label, but we're gonna, we're just gonna shag off out of this now. Um, but, another game to play. Sweet! Never really gave it a playthrough too often, but uh, now they got the manual. I'm gonna try to keep this about an hour. <laughs> Alright, so we had DuckTales. Let's try Ghostbusters 2. Oh. It's an Activision title, actually. PSG sound. But there is Wave. Uh, there is PCM um, audio. Not through the PC speaker, I don't think. I'm not going to be very good at this, so bear with me. But I do want to run through it just because it looks decent. Ghostbusters! It doesn't actually say that. Let's, uh, let's hit through this a little bit. Because really, you don't really need the gamepad for this one. This one's, um, well, depending on what part you're doing. It's all over the place. I'm going to... Just gonna do the run through. I, I, this is kind of based around the NES version. A it looks and it sounds like an NES game at the time, or like a Master System game. Like a 16 colors. This is like something you'd see in like an ST that could do 16 colors. Although with the Tandy 1000, 16 colors was your rot. That was it. Now you could do stuff like this and dithering and little tricks. You always get these little headlines now. See so, you now, I gotta, I gotta, you gotta basically do the, the quarter of the scene from the movie, and uh, the color is a little bit redder on my television. So, yeah, I think I turned the saturation down a little bit because it was just bleeding through on my capture device. But it's still, it's like look at this stuff. It's great. Probably gotta buy um, Dave Murray's game. Um, that's meant for the PC. That um, tile-based game, and uh, grab that. Now, oh, I think he did, but it doesn't doesn't end the game there for you, thank God. But it's just I'm shit at that at that part. I just want to get to like a couple parts in this to really show off. Yeah, we'll get through that. Now I'm gonna use. Like, that actually looks pretty cool. Like, you gotta admit, like... Comps a video, by the way, guys. So, nothing special. 240p. Uh, coming out of the fly. Well, when I'm doing this, at least. Okay, so... This should let me in a moment. Oh, here we go. Uh, cash on hand. Let's test the slime. I think you guys losing it. We don't have enough slime to test with. We gotta go get slime. Let's go get slime. I'm trying to get slime. Oh, he got me! Fucker! Ah, uh, sometimes you can do it. See if you do it right, but no, of course not. Well, he's after the mental institution. Just send another one down. Ultimately, they're expendable. You're in control of the mole. Come on. So you see on the tote board too, the, the, oh, sorry, on the status board there, there, that, uh, yeah, one of them's, uh, all of them are out except for Zedmore, alright, well, let's go get some slime, see if Winston's any better at this shit. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, this time he got me. First hole. Got greedy. I just want to do this. See if I can do this. I'm only about, you know, 35 minutes in. Oh, he's after the mental. Sounds insensitive to me, but it is a mental hospital, they say. All right. <laughs> Not one to go up there the well. F off, Slimer. Oh, you totally knocked me off the rope. What a douche nozzle. All right, one more. And game's over. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. This one. Come on. Throw one more down the well, boys. Let's see how she goes. You never know. We wanna do it. I just want some slime, damn it. Get up. Finally, got me some slime. Because I want to see what it happens when you test it. No comment, sir. Sell some smoked salmon from Nova Scotia. Yeah, probably. RIP headphone users. All right. Like seriously? Anyway. Alright, let's try one more mission. It's my last Ghostbuster. Oh, this is the one I played actually when I was a kid. This is the... This is actually gonna load. Yep. What was with me? What is will be no more. In other words, yes, yeah, screw it up, kid. It's all my Ghostbusters. I really just wanted to get to see this animation. Oh, he's blowing chunks. Your brains. Ooh, creepy. But that's that's Ghostbusters. Two. <laughs> yeah, Slimer. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get out of this. Mm-hmm. 
I just don't want to play that anymore. Ooh, it's still warm in here. Let's get back in the DOS box. So that's Ghostbusters 2. Moving on from... Hmm. Alright, so CD... Oh, no. Uh, guns. I'm just going to show this one off really quick. I did do an in-depth video on it, but I just really want to show like a gamut of Tandy games to go along with this. Because, you know, tutorial in the first part, and then you want to see an overview of some of the games you can play that are in Tandy mode. Well, then we got this. Looks a lot better on my on my TV, but still. But I mean, you're not really gonna pick up on that stuff. And I gotta do the whole. I mean, I'm just gonna show you the gameplay, really, because splash screens, splash screens. You know how to do art on a game. It won't do it. It's so warm. Loading the city. Like, look at that. Like, now, previously when I captured it, I didn't do do that in OBS. It was, um, I actually had to sync audio and everything, but I was doing it in um, Virtual Dub. I did the capture with, and I actually used a video camera for capturing my own visage. And, you know, did it all in Vegas and post-production kind of thing. So it took a lot longer, whereas OBS, I can just kind of do this. that and getting might be able to get that diamond all right all right now we got to go over and get that key here you go because you can hold four things your items yeah that's that's gods All right, next on the list is Lemmings. Oh. Tandy, press any key. We're just going to use a mouse for this one. Um, I had Lemmings with a CGA PC speaker variety. I uh, didn't have nearly as good uh, music, etc. Now, this is Christmas Lemmings, which essentially is Merry Christmas. Now, you have Tandy. Graphics and sound. It says Microsoft Mouse level, so it did support like a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna need our blocker. I'm just gonna do this really fast. Stomp all the lemmings and get our step maker. See how fast we can do this. I can see on the map there down below them. You see all the lemmings just getting dumped out of that door now. And just go up here and wait for them. This is like the third in the original lemmings that I played. Now, some versions of lemmings do the just dig as the first one, but this is Christmas lemmings. It starts off here like a greatest hits almost. I gotta say, 16 colors I'm very impressed with. And like for games, I really consider the Tandy with us because of its integrated hardware. It's really like one of those micros. But you know what's gonna happen. One guy's in. Boom! For the greater good, buddy. How about the hell to get the gold to wherever the hell it is? It's probably just a meat grinder right under the door. <laughs> You're just getting lemming meat. Can I speed this up? 
so great though, like the graphics. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna get the hell out of this though. Aaron Shame in the way, you know, blah blah blah. We're gonna get out of that. Totally get out of that because I just yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna grab a little lunch, I think, soon. Right button for the menu. Hop out of that. That's lemmings. LHX, we're gonna spend a bit more time at another point. It's one of those more three dimensional uh games I do need his manual for but it's it's more of a chopper simulation flight sim so we're gonna do that another time LSL's Leisure Suit Larry uh, same thing Maniac Mansion Maniac Mansion is you know a bit more long form I do want to actually get into something like that I tell you what though just for its impressiveness Mech Warrior and we're gonna do the end all opening and uh, just show that off really another Activision game really hot between the fall of the ancient star league and the rise of the heirs of steiner davian there lived an age of war unlike any before or since five great houses struggled fiercely for sole possession of the inner sphere of man across this troubled starscape marched mighty machines of war like titans through a great storm of fire I, I took too long to read so, it's pretty bitchin' looking though. Uh, glad to have you aboard, but I'm gonna show you. Is is essentially it is the RPG, but you do have the 3D element there. I'll show that off on a long play, but really, this is what you got, and you can use the controller or the mouse. But you want it like I do have the controller there, and it actually I tried it out earlier. It's not bad. Uh. I'm trying to keep the video down to an hour, though. So let's get out of DOS. All right, so that was Mech Warrior, just to show off from, like, the opening. Uh, <laughs> Metal G, Tilde 1. Is it? No. Uh, uh, that would be... Oh! Uh, Tandy Graphics. It's weird. It wouldn't work for me before for some reason. I found a different version and it just works fine. I think this one's just cracked or something. Uh, but look at that, right? Like, again, Tandy, 16 colors. That's it. That's just a 16 color palette, but like, hell. Uh, no, we're not going to use a joystick. We're going to save that. Yeah, it is basically based on the NES version. It's not based off the MSX uh, or the NES. Supposed to be able to find, I think, Solid Snake. So 85 is where I found that transmission. Anyway. Yeah, this weird thing too. Punch is actually on this. Run, you fucking goon. Ugh. Oh. oh, well. I'm dead. That's Metal Gear. Alright, so it's Metal Gear. Uh, Ninja Gaiden doesn't quite work. Outrun actually works decently. As long as I... Actually... Don't let my thumbs to get too full of crap. And by crap, I mean sweat. It's a hot day. Well, that's great, though. Like, another game I wish I had when I was a kid. And 
I gotta rem for this, it's just a one button joystick kind of control again. So high low is your button for reverse kind of thing, steering, but uh, jerking back on the thumbstick gives me gas. So it's takeout, but. As soon as I get it out of here, you. Tell me. Get moving. At randomly, I do get audio glitches. <sighs> I'm learning to recover from that, too. Yeah, I'm probably not going to make it out of this. No, see, we're not going to even make it out of this anyway. But that's Outrun. We're just going to get out of this. If it wasn't so hot, I sat back and just relaxed and was new for the video. I probably could play it. <laughs> right now, I'm just showing off stuff. I really don't care. That was that run. So, Rastan is another one of these ports by Nova Logic to um to the platform network. I'm gonna take that off because I want to just use the D-pad. Two button D-pad game. Jump and chop. Works great. 1990 and supports the handy in three. The, you know the regular PSG sound chip and the um, and the um, graphics through color, but like by 1990, people were learning what the Tani could do, and like Nova Logic and companies like this were starting to discover like, hey, this actually got decent sound, like in the master system that you know a lot of people already play. But uh. See, look, look out. Oh, that's a lot of power there. I don't know if I get regenerative from... No. I think the thing does run out after a while, so... Is that a nose? on this like this is how nice the game is like I just uh, fuck a blue right there although this is not my first time playing that but um, let's, uh, let's get out of this oh yeah but yeah brass hand for the tato uh, from the tato tato arcade one uh, so that was Rash Man. Still feed. Oh. Alright, and I do have a manual for this, actually. That one's just like a triangle, right? Slowly my follow manager. I have the manual here on my phone for such occurrences. Comics and books, PDFs and manuals, Sylphie. I have brass hands on here as well. There's a little table showing. Okay, went right back to where I was before. 
Triangle guy, who is he? Oh, satellite. Now, this is the tanny sound again. So, Adlib actually hit, sounds a little bit nicer. Uh, if you have Adlib EGA for this game, it, or EGA is actually pretty, pretty damn cool. So, thumbstick enabled. Game Arts. So, Game Arts actually ported a lot of, had a lot of games uh, localized by, um, let's skip past this, uh, localized by, um, by Sierra. You can skip through that whole opening or the guy that sounds like an electric shaver. So, we're gonna, but yeah, like a silly. One button, shmup, vertical. People might hate that term. Shoot him up. Vertical shooter, arcade shooter, what have you. Uh, but it's great. We're not gonna play too far. I just wanna. One of these buttons lets me escape. Oh, wait. Uh, wow, I can really, like... Oh, I gotta remember to do that next time I play this game. Uh, but no, we're actually gonna just... I don't know how to escape the game, so we're gonna do that that fast. <laughs> but that's selfie, vertical shoot. I, there's really not much to go over. Boss in every end. There's some nice uh, planetary things. The colors shift a little bit. They just use a blue and red. They switch a four color for like, um, so they can free up resources for um, parallaxing, sort of parallaxing. Oh yeah. So that was still feed. We're gonna try Dexter. Now Dexter is one button, I believe, and it's down for transformation. You can just up to jump. Best extra. This is just like I believe another PC eighty eight to one game. But we're gonna just I think it's quit. Yep. And Tunnels of Armageddon. So personal favorite from childhood actually. And this one is Tandy and another California Dreams game. Oh, always with Tandy color, but never Tandy sound. That could have sounded a lot nicer, guys. What did I... I think I just broke it. I totally did. I just totally broke it. I hit a button while that the whole thing was coming, and I think I... Yeah, I think I totally foobarred it. Anyway, let's go back in. Anticlimactic. Oh, my childhood is one of my childhood favorites. Blah, blah, blah. I, gotta go out. I was like, oh man, we're better at an hour almost. Uh, and again, Tandy. Did I just break it again? No, I didn't. All right. Thumb sick. See, it throws me off a dice box. I can't. I, I don't think there's a setting to let me hear a floppy. Would be nice. Or at least like a light. Uh, one thing about the ST emulator I use in here, and I'll go through that at some point. It actually has a, in the corner, light going like it's a read light. But yeah, that's, that's. Basically, Tunnels of Armageddon is a first-person shooter kind of tunnel game. Um, and it runes on an XT, no problem. Uh, wasteland, Wasteland, Wasteland. I have got to get those fixed up right now. We're going to close out with a couple more games. 
So one more game after this one. Uh, this is a later release of um, Winter of the Worlds, Kerm in San Diego. And this release, I believe, is the last one that supports Tandy, specifically the Tandy Sound Source. Tandy Sound Source could definitely do PCM 8 bit 44.1 kilohertz sound. Now, this isn't 44.1, but it's impressive because. If you're running PC speaker sound like that, usually you're taxing the CPU a bit. Not with this. And then we're cutting into the PSG. So 1991, this was minted. So yeah, they were still selling them around then, but I think a year or so later they, they cut out the, the 1000 line. What we're going to do, though, we're just going to get the hell out of this because that's just, I could sit down and play it all day. Although there is, you know, PSG and there is PCM sound. PCM sound, right? Uh, we're going to try to get this X-Men title working. Uh, I had it working before. Might have corrupted, but really, I don't think. Uh, you have a joystick. Mm -hmm. Restore an old game. No. Uh, auto text Tandy. That's kind of slick. 1990. Like, again, another game. I've played this before. Never, Not when I was younger. I, got this, I found this about a year and a half ago. Played it a little bit. Now that's weird. That's three voice PSG. I've played this before, and it only kicks in on a PC speaker. So that's weird. Anyway, let's go. I am the watcher. Yeah, you're the watcher. Let's uh, let's get down to brass tacks there, buddy. So Wolverine. Yeah course get you slim ice man now let's see if this is just loading now or is it really I, it might be corrupted I gotta see um I had this playing before, and it's like a gauntlet-style game, like gauntlet with like five people. But like I said, it doesn't let me see um, a load indicator or anything. This could be loading, and some games took a minute to load. So we're going to wait. If not, that's X-Men. Just to let you know, I've had to record this a few times today. Some settings would botch up, and some stuff would just go weird, and i get a 480p... 43 aspect ratio fall, but I think, no, I think this is, no, man. Well, how about a DOS box? Nice DOS box. Well, nice DOS box with Tandy settings and Tandy games. Um, really, that's all you have to do. Um, I'm not going to bother putting the text in the description because it's their plan as day. But uh, for everybody out there that's watching, thanks a lot. It's, uh, it's nice to see some people come around and watch my videos. Even if there's like 20 views, I don't care. My God, it's great. Take care, all. Try to keep cool.